Hello, Buchanan. Please excuse my hat. I'm in the process of redoing up, uh, patching my head, uh, some of my hair. <laughs> um, I want to say thank you, Jesus, for us coming together again. I pray that everyone's needs have been met. That means food and shelter. Uh, I pray the Lord uh, that the Lord looks over you and He keeps you and your family in peace. I'm not going to ask for perfect harmony for you, but I just pray that you could be together and sit in a room without arguing and bickering. Uh, I pray for your health and your strength. Amen. Uh, what came to mind today, I was listening to this preacher. And uh, these little episodes, you know on YouTube how they flash up. And there, you know, all them little pictures. And he was talking about hell. And that has always been a look, uh, it's a bit of a situation. I believe that we have consequences after we die. It's going to be a good consequence or a bad one. There is a heaven and a hell. I do believe that. But also, I was thinking <laughs> that we have a personal Savior. You know, I have a personal Savior. I'm going to keep it on me. I have a personal Savior. And what it took for me to be saved didn't take what it took, uh, has taken for you or others to be saved. Therefore, I feel that we, I believe that I have a personal Savior. What God does for me, He doesn't do for you. What He does for you, He doesn't do for me. So, it's personal. It's personal. So, therefore, if, if my relationship with Him has always been personal, things that He has done for Janice, that He didn't do for others, and Jeremiah, Daniel, etc., then how is it that I should sit back and say that when I die, I'm going to hell, and hell is going to be this way, and heaven's going to be that way. I don't believe that it has been revealed. I don't believe, yeah, people believe they went to hell. Okay, maybe they did go to hell. You know, this preacher was showing a, uh, showing a picture and uh, having a co uh, conversation about people that have went to hell. I've seen some of them stories. But at the same time, that's that personal person. That's what it took for that person to be saved. That's what it took for them to realize that, they, that there is a God. Some of them didn't believe in God. But my whole head is this. Each one of those stories is different. They're conflicted. Therefore, it took what it took. Let's keep it simple. Everybody want to complicate. Everybody want to put everything in a bag. Yeah, and then talking about, yeah, if you talk about hell, it's scaring people. If you talk about what you know about, it's not going to scare people. Have you been to hell? If you haven't been to hell, how are you going to pick up somebody else's story and start talking about, ooh, hell is like this? We don't know what hell is like. We don't know what heaven's like. I do know that I'm going to heaven and it's a better place. I'm not going to be up there shopping. I might not see my enemies, and I might not see my friends, but I know whatever God got for me up there is up there. And the same thing for the people that's doing wrong, that's thinking that they saved, and they can always save, and that they can run around here and harm people and kill people and do what they want to people, and then just holler, oh, <laughs> Jesus, forgive me, and thinking that's all right. That's not all right. You wrong. You're not little. Christ wouldn't do that, so how you think you're going to get away with it? So what I'm saying is, you have a personal Savior. Look for a personal Savior in Jesus. Because he's going to do for you what he doesn't do for everybody else. You know. Um, I mean, really, that's, that's what I got on here to say. And I, I wish everybody a wonderful, fantastic day. And love Jesus for yourself. You know, don't let anybody lead and guide you into something that they don't know about. You know. Yeah, I haven't been to heaven and I haven't been to hell either. But I do... I, Expect and the, uh, a beautiful eternal eternal end up there with Jesus. That's all I know. I might not be on his right side or his left side, but I know at the end of my journey when I die and this body is left behind and my spirit goes on, believe me, what I believe is that it's what you believe. It's your personal say what you believe. And I believe that when I die, I believe that I'm going to see Jesus. And when I do see him, I do believe that he is going to have some type of a of, uh, scroll. He's going to have something that say, Janice, I do know you did this and you did that. Because he sees things that I, I do stuff. <laughs> Let me tell out myself. I do some stuff. You know how you do some stuff. Man, nah, I don't keep it. I do some stuff so fast and, and bad. 
you know, be, mm, say some things to people, you know, sometimes out of anger, and then like, okay, boo, I'm going to go on about my business, and I'm thinking, like, I didn't really say it, I'm pushing it down that I really didn't do it. So sometimes it's some things that guy going to point back and say, yes, you remember that day when you cut them people out and you try to holler, you would say, they'll be like, Lord, oh my God, you remember what day was that? <laughs> uh, uh, what day was it? October the 18th, 2016. I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help me. But um, <laughs> you have a wonderful Sunday. I have to go to work. But you have a wonderful, blessed day. You know, God keep you in perfect peace. Bye. Keep a smile on your face, not a frame.